What's going to take out Bourbon Whiskey of the Year 2023? Welcome to House Bourbon's Bourbon Whiskey of the Year 2023. In this list, we tried to take into account cost and availability in, in the ranking, so it sort of ended up with two top fives, you might say. The, the first, uh, 10 to 6, are fantastic bourbons, maybe even better bourbons than the top five, but due to their cost or just lack of availability, um, they didn't make the top five. So here we go. Number 10. Russell's Reserve, single rickhouse, F. Camp Nelson, F. Um, excellent bourbon. Wild Turkey is getting a little bit expensive with their stuff, and being that this is a limited release, uh, this is where it came in at number 10. Number 9. Wild Turkey Generations. Um, this is great. Great bourbon. Fantastic story. The three generations of the Russells, possibly their last blend, and a really good bourbon in the bottle. But is it worth the MSRP? That's, uh, that's up for you to decide. Number eight. George T. Stagg. Man, the hype is real. This is my first George T. Stagg. And oh, at MSRP, buy as many as you can. Did I pay secondary for this? None of your fucking business. Lucky number 11. From all accounts, this year's Thomas H. Handy is better than normal, but uh, first one I've ever tried, and it is fantastic. Um, it beats out George T. Stagg only because of its cheaper price, and not really MSRP because... You know, who can get that? But uh, you can pick this up on secondary for a lot less. Six. The Big Boy. 13th Colony Double Oaked. This thing is so complex. It has all the flavor notes. Everything's sort of like got a burnt texture to it, but it, it's so unique and different and delicious. And the finish lasts forever. But due to only having 3,000 bottles and being so hard to find, it is number six. Number five. Russell's Reserve 13. Now we're into the top five and somewhat more available bourbons. You can find this one on the shelf. Um, maybe not for MSRP, but uh, maybe a little bit more. This is just fantastic. Is it as good as the other two wild turkeys? Maybe not, but easier to find. Number four. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C923. This thing should be on the shelf everywhere, but due to its popularity, it is a little bit hard to find, but uh, still findable. Great, great bourbon with caramel and butterscotch and a serious amount of proof. So if you're a proof hound, this might be your number one. Number three. Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. This thing is delicious and really the first true shelfer. You can find this thing. In some states it's everywhere, in some states it's not, but uh, with the production power of Jack Daniels, it hopefully soon will be. The second best whiskey of the year. Mitch's 10 year bourbon. This thing is just a classic bourbon. It just tastes so old with sweet oak and fig and plum. It's a lower proof, it's much more approachable and it's just fantastic. It's not that easy to find, but if you live in Louisville, you can line up every day. The number one whiskey of the year is Jack Daniels 12 year. This is fantastic. This is the only Jack Daniels. I don't really get a banana note, but I get all the other classic bourbon notes of cherry and oak. This is just fantastic. And at 107 is the perfect proof for me. So that was our top 10. Uh, leave a comment and uh, tell me if you think I'm full of shit. What would your top 10 be? Thanks and uh, see you next time.